<laughs> All right, welcome back to the Texas Daily. Uh, we have a special guest here with us tonight. Stephen Foster joins us now. He's a business consultant, leadership coach, and turns out a Harley enthusiast. But our viewers might remember him from our July 4th show earlier this year when we interviewed Stephen from the road when he was riding across the country, not just across the country, but around the perimeter, perimeter. of the country for a very special cause. It's all about a boot campaign that provides services to returning vets. So, Stephen, thank you for coming in in person. It's good to be back in the studio. The first time you and I talked, as you remember, I'd ridden through 300 miles of rain, yes. soaking mm. wet, and water jetting out of my boots. So yeah. it's good to be back home dry in Dallas. All right. Well, right. first of all, you've given us some bumper stickers or cards mm -hmm. here. So tell us about what is the boot campaign? What is that? Well, the Boot Campaign is a really amazing organization. It was founded in Texas by five women, friends, mm -hmm. who read a book called Lone Survivor. It's the account of Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell and Operation Red Wing. Uh, back in 2005. Mm -hmm. These women read this book, the story of Marcus's survival and the death of his three teammates on Here's the SEAL the team. That's right, uh, www.bootcampaign.com. Mm -hmm. And 16 responders who came in to help them all killed. Mm. Wow. So Marcus, Gosh. when he left the service, dedicated his life to making sure their stories were told and that he could create some synergy between veterans, the military, and the American public. What's interesting is, I read the same book, wow. and that inspired me to do something on their behalf. So the boot campaign is how old? How long has it been around? Uh, I, for about four years now. Okay. And, and what is it exactly? There's five areas well, of service. Well, it's uh, right? the five areas of service. It's, it's veteran housing, job assistance, veteran wellness, urgent assistance, and family support. And so there are five sort of different ways that you can plug in and help military families. But they create these great events, and one of the things that really drew them to me as someone who works in meetings and events mm -hmm. is, well, how do you get people connected? What's mm -hmm. the hook? Mm -hmm. Well, they uh, went to the supplier of military boots and said, make us a pair of Marine boots, there of we go. Army boots, correct, uh, of first responder boots, of Navy SEAL boots. So you can buy a pair of these boots. And they're and the most comfortable boots. Very ever. comfortable. Yes. I wore them on all 13,000 miles of my journey. Wow. Uh, and every Friday is boot day. So we literally say, get your boots on. Mm. Remember that saying, walk a while in someone's shoes? Yes. 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 Well, just the physical act and I experience this of lacing up a pair of boots, mm -hmm. it's not like slipping into our comfortable shoes. Mm -hmm. right. There's some deliberate thought and time that goes into sure. lacing those boots. So it gives you a kind of time to reflect that somewhere in this country and in places out of this country, all over the world, in harm's way, mm -hmm. someone's lacing right. up their boots for you. So we want to get to this ride quickly. So you got the wild idea somehow to raise awareness and money by riding the perimeter of the United States. I did. Well, as a biker, um, that was an ultimate biker bucket list. Oh, I only yeah. know that. Yeah. She used to be a Absolutely. biker. Oh, yeah. 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 So I always wanted to do this ride and have talked about it for about 10 years. Wow. Um, every, about five years ago, I was ready to go and something came up and then something came mm -hmm. up. And I'm convinced now that the reason I didn't do the ride is I hadn't met the boot campaign because mm. the reality is oh. if I'd have done this ride, it'd have been a great story with my biker buddies. Right. And a year from now, who would have cared? <laughs> right. Honestly, that's who would have cared? They yeah. probably would have said, shut up. We've heard the story. <laughs> now here's the map. Let's freeze that, that shot. That's incredible. Can we go back to that one before? Where'd you start from? Yeah. Well, I, uh, I left Dallas and departed from Houston. My brother lives there because mm -hmm. To ride the perimeter, I wanted to try to stay within 25 to 30 miles of the U.S. perimeter, because mm -hmm. literally that's what I did, that's ride right. the perimeter of the country. Right. Headed east, uh, so some great cities, you know, New Orleans yeah. and, and Were Keaton. you on the same Harley the whole time? The entire time. Mm -hmm. And it, it wow. made it. Yeah. Was anybody following you, like with water or anything support like that? Vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, I had a support vehicle from Houston to Mobile. My uh, nephew, David, went with me, <laughs> and then he had to go back to college. Uh, but no, I, I went by myself, oh uh, my gosh. and it was great. It was because I could stop and, and talk to veterans and meet military families and wives and sons and daughters. Yeah. Were you expected along the way? I was. There yeah. were, the boot campaign did a great job of support, and I, I can't credit them enough. They looked at the route and said, where do you want to be? Who do you want to talk to? So they were very helpful in mm -hmm. setting up interviews with these with these guys and great guys and gals. Mm -hmm. Did you make it's money riding? In other yeah. words, did people pledge they, donations? They did, and they can still do that. I, I set up a fundraising page, uh, which you can get to from the Boot Campaign uh, website or mm -hmm. my website, and, oh. and people were hugely generous. And what was interesting is they would usually leave me a story. So yeah. they would pledge said, 20 bucks. You said that at one point you were very discouraged and then something happened. You met somebody that totally lifted you. 
I, I did. I, I'm going to confess for the first time on air that about three-fourths of the way through the ride, I was pretty done. I was tired. There was some weather. Um, and I thought, you know, fundraising wasn't going great. And I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll, I've, I've done what I can do. I'll go home. And uh, had a chance to hear uh, this story uh, of Wade Christensen, a 23-year-old uh, local boy from Billings, Montana. Mm. 82nd Airborne, served in Iraq, um, wounded pretty severely and came home. And um, he, he just couldn't re-engage in his life. Mm -hmm. And um, about a month prior, he had taken a truck in Main Street, and he'd killed himself. Uh -huh. And his brother, um, who I had a chance to kind of run into uh, quite by accident, was was telling me this story and had actually the article on the front page of the uh, of the Billings Gazette. And uh, and I just said, you know, all I could say is, God, you know, God bless you, and we're thinking about your family. And and left, walked out the door, and went, you know what? Pick your head out of your yeah. butt. And get your bike back. And get your back right. on that finish ride it. and finish it. Because that's it. what you're out here to right. do. You're out here to do. Well, it. it's this a great ride cause. Has to be a book. Yeah. Well, it, we, <laughs> that's we, the it next will, segment. We're going to have you on to talk yes. about that. And also, Stephen Foster. Stephen, Stephen Foster speaks a lot. I yes. Mean, this is my, yes. This right. is who he is. Yeah. But yeah. the website is the Boot Campaign, and uh, we want to have you back when we've got more to talk about. Maybe terrific. The next project. It's a foster-fathom.com. Okay. okay. And the campaign is theboot campaign.com and we will be right back. So stay right. here. Okay.